Hey family, how's everybody today? Today, I want to talk about, it's interesting how with such a backlash on what I spoke of the last video about this Kalina hire situation. I got love and I got backlash. I got a lot of backlash though. It is funny because most of the video, I wasn't even talking about her. I was saying that this, what she is describing, sheds a spotlight on trafficking and all the other things that are happening, okay? The biggest currency, again, is trafficking, pedophilia. This is the currency that runs this planet. It's not just America, it's worldwide. And see, if people, the people that were angry at me, I know they haven't been anywhere. I can tell they haven't really done a lot of traveling because when you do a lot of traveling and you see it for and you see it with your own eyes, then you understand how real it really is. You shouldn't be so angry about the reality of the world that you're in. Most of it is not really angry, it's fear. It's just misplaced fear that you describe as anger. Some people are backtracking on what they say. I'm not backtracking on anything until she has a live, she brings out a live, and she explains what happened. Then you will get something out of me. Then I'll say whatever. But I'm still not going to get away of and around the, um, <laughs> the trafficking of people. Children, mothers, okay? Mostly children and mothers, okay? This is happening worldwide. People have to wake up from the truth that it is. It's interesting because I talked about mostly in my last video, I talked about the movie Antebellum. Now, Antebellum, no one even spoke of this movie. I think about two or three people out of 20 some thousand people spoke and, and mentioned anything about what I was saying, okay? I'm saying this to say you need to watch this movie because in this movie you see the butterfly over the woman's mouth, right? The mask. Here we go again with the mask. But this mask is designed to keep you afraid and it's designed to silence you. Shh. In the whole movie they were going like this. Shh. Because this is what people in their subconscious mind are living like they are afraid to speak out when things are wrong they are silenced and don't even realize it okay a lot of the people that they look up to in a society are silenced so therefore they are silenced now if they speak out you will speak out because you're under mind control and don't even know it the butterfly represents monarch programming this is why in the movie antebellum the girl, she had one on her. She hung herself because she refused to be a slave. They got rid of, they killed her child that was in her womb. So she killed her. She said, the hell with this. I'm not going to be here. So she killed herself. But on her ankle was a monarch butterfly tattooed. Subconsciously, I don't know if she put it on or they put it on her. But she was influenced in some Anyway getting back to this monarch butterfly okay it represents a sex slave it's a way of mk ultra way of mind control and the reason why they use this butterfly is because the color is orange and black now the orange represents your second chakra your second chakra connects to your genitals your sex organs the black of course if you put black around anything let's say a black uh frame around any picture it draws you into the very picture itself it's like a vortex that pulls you into it okay so she had this monarch butterfly on her ankle in the movie even the color even the cover is a butterfly over the mouse because they're saying that keep this a secret Shh. the little girl it was a scene with a little girl was with Janae, Janelle Monet in the um, hotel again, the hotel. And she tells her to, she said, shh, she said, you can't speak because you'll get in trouble. Okay? All through the movie, they're telling people to be quiet. 
And this is what people are doing. Everybody's afraid because they are still slaves and don't even realize that based on mind control through their TV, through their technology, their phones, whatever, they are afraid to speak out even when they know things are true. They know in their gut, you know in your gut when something don't feel right. Okay, so it's time to speak out. This is the time of Aquarius. This is the time. This is the age of truth. This is the age of balance. It's going to happen no matter if you deny it or not. It doesn't matter if you don't believe anything. Okay, it's like the movie called They Live. This came out in 80, uh, 80 some, early 80s. And in the movie, you see how this guy, he got a, a pair of these glasses. And when he put these glasses on, he could see the reality of the world and what it really is. Meaning that on the outside, right? Because this is what's happening right now. It's a filter on the outside. Oh, it's Disneyland. It's beautiful. When he put on the glasses, it, it says consume. It says do not question authority. It says um, sleep. Um, when, with the money, it says this is your God. When he looks through the glasses, he can see it for what it really is. This is the true world that we're in. This is the matrix. This is the world. This is the real world. They said the matrix is all about control to turn a human being into a battery. And this is what most people want to, even though, even though they know in their soul that it's time to wake up, they still want to be in Disneyland. They still want to be in this gloss over filter society that they know is not serving them. You get what I'm saying? So therefore, it's time to wake up. And I understand at the same time why people are not waking up because in your DNA, there's a defensive mechanism put there because if you was to wake up fully, let's say people say, well, I want my third eye, I, my third eye is open. If you truly was to see this world for what it is, you will have a heart attack and die. You can't handle it. Most people can't handle seeing the truth. So I understand the defensive part in, in the, the defensive mechanism in your mind, in your DNA, that blocks, that blocks out the truth. That's like somebody being traumatized. One of my exes years ago, she was, she told me, she finally broke down and told me she was kidnapped a while, uh, you know, early in her life for two weeks. But she blocked that out because it was so devastating to her. Fortunately, she had an angel, somebody that recognized something wasn't right, spoke out against it and helped free her from this man's house. So I'm not just speaking based on emotionalism. I'm speaking on reality. I'm speaking on truth. OK, you have to they, they put all these movies out here to to get people a better awareness of the world that they're in. It's time to wake up. It's not time to be afraid anymore. It's time to live in the truth of who you are. Live by your heart. This time is a time of what they call it about the great divide. Where people that's living in fantasy and people that's living in reality. So don't try to wake up people too much if they're not ready. Let them go where they need to go. When it's supposed to happen, it's supposed to happen. But I guarantee you this. This year, you're going to be exposed to so many truths that is undeniable word that you're in. Alright family, love y'all. Love and light. Peace.